morning morning <laughs> it's been a very long time i mean all the time you would have been seeing some throwback videos it's a good to get to those um pieces of footage and i had them in my archives there for you guys because it has been so busy but you know in good ways busy in good ways and that's a that's a good thing a lot of things happening good things happening and um and it's dry season they wouldn't have the blowing that's a nothing that's a nothing you know that's the best type of water to to drink coffee when you sun real hot and blazing outside put up a pot of coffee i have to banker i have to banker for all you because i really i really miss you all so much so many of you have been messaging and reaching out sending um encouraging things wonderful things every single day for me and the ducklings i just want to say how much i appreciate everything you might not have heard back from me guilty yes i am guilty of that but there there's a good reason in fact there are three good reasons why you hear back from it and um i know you'll understand it feels good to talk to you it feels good to be back in your home thank you for having me in your home once again on your phone on your laptop on your tv what else boy in your heart in your mind today we have to go and get material to make a kite because miss vidya is having her annual kite flying session on friday it's wednesday by the way today is wednesday and so we have to get a kite in order for Friday. I could go in probably a stationery store and I could buy a ready-made kite but I love to make my own kite. I did one last year. I'll leave the link in the description. It was a nice kite. Real rainbow colored and um, it did fly. Now Suri's in charge. Yes, that's um, the last duckling, Princess Margaret. Um, and her birthday is coming up soon. She's going to be five years old y'all and she has been looking forward to turning five since she was probably like one since she understood what her birthday was she has been looking forward to turning five she is going to do her own shopping for everything that she needs for the kite there might be some extra things um she might have on the list that's okay we'll see how it goes right remember some time ago for sadie's birthday i showed you all the outside of a stationery store slash hardware that's j and j essentials they have so many wonderful things stationary uh, you would have seen the services that they offer and um at the top of the, the above the door when you look at the video if you didn't look at the video go and look at the video i'll put that link in the description also j and j essentials jenny and junior is a husband and wife team and they are doing such a wonderful job um their worker Rishma, oh gosh she's such a darling they're all cool they're all wonderful but first before i head down there there are some things that i have to do i have to um at least do a little meal prep now the girls and i we're having a lot of vegetarian dishes these days and we like it right next to the stationery store there's a beautiful beautiful vegetable stall with everything that you could think about um, dashing bush, spinach, that's bhaji, mustard bhaji sometimes, they have pak choy, bananas, apples, avocados, lemons, karaili, provision, sometimes they have cheese, sometimes they have gulab jamun, sometimes they have um, the square one, the barfi, sometimes they have dragon fruit, sometimes they have tamarind, I got a good deal on some tamarind this morning, and, and, this is what is spectacular about that vegetable store. They have a $5 table, you all. A $5 table. So today I'll be making some $5 bonatos choker. This is a $5 bag of bonatos. Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bonatos in this bag. See? Seven bonatos. I counted correct, right? Good. And I bought three bags of bonatos three bags of bonatos five dollars bonatos choker today with some fry bake 
and some sardine. One last you had some sardine. Brunswick sardine from the tin that you peel back. You know, the one that you have to peel the top off and be very careful that you don't get cut. Some sardine, banato sugar, fry mix, and a kite. It's just before 1 p.m. Suri's school finishes at 1 30. So that's just enough time to roast my bonatos, knead the flour from a fry bake, and I have some seasoning to blend that I did get from the $5 table down by Uncle there. Bonatos flour seasoning. That's what we had to do before we drive down the road. Pause. Thank goodness I have this, um, this burner. It's kind of a long, long burner. Oh yeah, this is my um, this is my Bonato's roasting device. It came from um, a roasting pan set, and it's perfect for roasting Bonato's. I gave the Bonato's a little rinse and just, you know, you don't have to dry the Bonato's when you rinse them because the fire will take care of that. Just lay out your Bonato's like that. Let them take their time. Cook. Yeah, you're hearing that popping sound. That's part of the experience. Don't get frightened. You want that to happen. This is this is Alice's hungwing y'all. Let me tell you something. Yes, I want an old time looking pot. I want it black with a strainer always in it. I have um, coffee makers. You know, they're cool to use, they're fun to use, but this this is it, boy. This is how I make my coffee every morning. Let me see. Yeah, we had two cups here still. We had to finish that out before the end of the day. This is the green seasoning blend. We have size, parsley, shadow benny, garlic, pimentos inside there, some um, some fine leaf thyme. Oh, there's a leaf there. That's, that's from the thyme. I got some garlic. They had probably like uh, two heads of garlic in one bag for five dollars that they cleaned up for us. Y'all are smelling my bonatos. Smelling my bonatos. Put a good amount of water because you don't want your blender to spoil. Now that is green seasoning. When you hear green seasoning, this is what you expect to see, right? Yeah, let's let's take a look. Yeah boy. That's the thing. That is itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta show all my bonatos. Of course, I have to show you all how the bonatos are progressing. So, you see, I like, I like when there's like a 50% char on all the bonatos, just like this. And so, what I'll do at this point, turn off the heat and the residual heat that is in the bonatos will continue to cook the bonatos from the inside out yeah man so let them fellas hang out there a little bit let me show you something normally i buy the miners or mayonnaise um in the pouches but every once in a while i like to buy the miners in this big bottle and the reason for that is because i get to keep the bottle for seasoning look at it it's big it's roomy perfect for seasoning don't throw away a mayonnaise bottle if you happen to be buying mayonnaise in this uh, type of container and you don't want to use it please give it to somebody who could store seasoning in it they come in very handy funnel makes things easier I tried I tried once to do it without the funnel and I found myself in a lot of problems Yeah, so we got a nice um, big bottle and a little extra of bonatos here. I'll just cover them. 
need my flour and then we'll head down to Suri. Usually I'd use just plain flour when I'm making my uh, roti and my fry bakes but I kind of shifted my, um, my focus a bit and I added some bran to the all-purpose flour so inside here we have sifted all-purpose flour some bran, a little sugar, a little salt and a little bit of yeast mix it all together, combine it make it well Choose some water bring it all together it simply means just bring in all your dry ingredients together with the water forming a nice dough you see how that look in there, it's a little sticky right add a little more dried flour or you could use a little oil but since it's going to be fry week <laughs> I am omitting the oil in the kneading process and just continue to work with your dough until it's nice and smooth just cover it and let it rest until it's time to fry all right we have the flour situation under control, bonatos in a good position, seasoning, um, yeah, everything in a comfortable enough situation. So we're heading down the road. Pause. Hi, Suri. Hi. How was it there? Awesome. It was awesome? Yeah. Look at that. It was awesome and you get a thumbs up for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we got ice cream and cake because it was somebody but Really? Did you all sing happy birthday? Yeah. And do you know whose birthday is coming up on the 23rd of March? Mine! Yes! How old would you be? Five. You'll be five years old? Let me see how many fingers represent five. A whole hand. A whole hand, y'all. That's how old she's going to be. So you ready to go get your stuff to make the kite? You're ready! Yeah. I have to tie a ribbon. So guys, remember? stationery store these are all the services they offer I'll carry all inside and give you all a better um, a better look let's go so she's a little bit good afternoon junior how are you this is this is junior this is one of the J's from J and J essentials all right junior I just showing them I have to go for the next two but she come to get her stuff for the kite yes all one my shop. You have to go for kite flying in Easter, and whoever that they have kite flying, the highest will get a goodies. All right, good, good, good. Junior, yeah, that fixture real good, eh? So these are some of the things that you can find at G and J Essentials. Yeah, you take your time. They've got lots and lots of things, y'all. They have blenders, they have containers for fuel, a variety of tools. I know some of you guys and gals will probably go crazy. They've got knives. That looking like Tramontina. Like that looking like a uh, set of Tramontina. No, it's not Tramontina. Chisels. Just take a good look. I try to move as slowly as possible so that you all could, you know, get a very good idea of all the things they have here. Um, screws, hinges, gadgets. That's all that comes to mind. Gadgets. They've got chemicals. Hey, and that's what I can do. What you can do there? Let me see. Spinning right. They've um, got ladders. Spin and drop and drop. What? And this is the stationary oh, side. You mean the the wetness? Stickers. Yeah. You see the wetness? Oh yes. Sir. yes sir. Trophies. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. different types of things. Crayons. Envelopes. Oh, so what's going on? Think, yeah, so many people spill coffee. Like, you see, you spill water there, 
anything that you need to make others junior and jenny have it. one of the amazing things about this store is that junior and jenny have really optimized the space in this store they put shelves all the way up to the ceiling I think they're yeah boy it's genius junior genius Genius with a G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and eagle. She knows it, Rishma. So we had yellow so far. So we have six yeah, colors that yeah, will definitely make our rainbow colored kite. And so we need some tread and glue now. Oh, look, they had a tread waiting there, man. <laughs> One reel should be enough, right? Yeah. And some glue. Where is glue? Um, give me the Elmers, the big Elmers. Tanks. Right. Sweetheart, look, what else we missing? We missing the glue. Look the glue there. The glitter. The glitter. You collecting your change? Say thank you. And collect your bag and tell them thank you. Bye, bye. All right, thanks for everything. We get stickers for the kite. Oh, thank you. I'll hold it for you. Wow, you're real load up the girl. There we go. Thanks, there. Bye, bye. All right, let's talk sardines. I grew up eating these things, eh, boy? Let me tell you. Always with shad benny, level onion, some pepper and bananas. That's really it. Yeah, um, I'll put some pimentos in there. So let me show you what, what we do. Be careful. Remember, I was telling you guys not to get caught with this. Put your thumb there after you break the seal. Apply a little pressure. Peel back the top. And you have your sardines in soy, soya oil. Repeat one more time. Now I have to show you what I do at this point. I'll take the whole fish as is. Sort of gently run the knife along the top there and remove the um, spine and any little brown bits uh, where the belly would have been. Right, so you end up with a nice clean uh, sardine fillet and repeat a few more times. I'll show you one more time. Open it out like that. Take out the spine. Take out the brown bits. Simple with some red pimentos and some chopped shadow benny and of course it's sardines so onions are a must in your sardine dish right chop them up and put them inside there I uh, reserve two of the roasted bananas put in that inside there too and I got some <laughs> lime juice concentrate in the grocery store I couldn't find our uh, fresh limes but this works just as good drizzle it around everything heavy heavy on the lime juice Sprinkle a little salt and then you mix it all up. Make sure everything is incorporated nicely and the lime juice gets into all the nooks and crannies. And of course, garnish. And this is your traditional sardine choker. Some people call it sardine choker. Whatever you want to call it, this is how we used to do it. I know you all love to see when the chunking situation takes place. We'll just give these guys just a few seconds again. This is our bonatos, our five dollars bonatos choker. Waiting, waiting patiently for the garlic. All right. So we chunk it. We chunk it. Yep. Mm -hmm. We garnish. And then we cover. 
our fry bake flour has risen so beautifully. Look at that. And we'll just punch it down gently like that. Make a loy, roll it out and start to fry. I have my surface all dusted with flour and waiting. I have my oil hotting up here and I have my bowl ready and waiting to receive these hot bakes. So just go ahead and cut your bakes in whatever shape you want to cut them, whatever shapes as a matter of fact, and whatever size, if you have cookie cutters and you want to make hearts, stars, go right ahead. So just scoop some of the hot oil and kind of like, you know, bathe the top um, of the bake like that. Be careful because it's hot oil of course. You don't want to scoop it and overreach and then it fly on your tummy. And if you want your bakes to be a little more brown, just leave them a little more in the hot oil. Let them float around and swim. It's entirely up to you. And just repeat five more times. <laughs> so you see how easy dinner was to, to put together? This is how I have to do it. Bits and pieces and stages and phases. <laughs> And then eventually it will all come together um, at just the right time <laughs> at just the right time because as soon as I finished um, frying those bakes that was when Sydney's class online class finished and she was just there smelling those bakes frying getting real hungry so who hungry <coughs> everybody hungry <coughs> lovely so this is our five dollars bonatos choker chunked and garnished exquisitely then we have uh, Brunswick sardines garnished also quite delicious and we have our fry bakes fry bakes wait now somebody come and rest some cheese here boy oh wait one you put the cheese there no oh that ghost that ghost you don't want any banato choker no a little bit no. Sardine? No. Oh. So Sarah is the ghost. She's the ghost? Yes. Yeah. Right. No, I'm not the ghost. Bonatos and sardine for yeah? Yes. yes. Of course. You know, I, I'm tempted to say this is a simple meal, but this is looking so regal, eh? Fit for a king. No, it's fit for a queen. Fit for four queens. Hey. Four queens named Alex, Sunny, and Sunny Bird. Cheese. Hey, you're strong, girl. You, you eat out your lunch today, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so while they're eating, while they're eating, I'll just walk across the road and get some bamboo. You know, the video will not be complete if I didn't show you the mountain. That's the mountain right there. And this is what I'm going to use to cut bamboo. Don't get worried, it's just bamboo I'm going to cut. This is what easier for me when I cut in bamboo because the bamboo is a little cumbersome to work with so a bigger cutlass will make it even more difficult for me easy and safe make sure to look up and down that's going inside Cora that's going out of Cora 
You look left and right, you cross. Woo -woo. So we have some bamboo uh, trees that have been cut down recently by the forestry workers, which kind of makes life a little easier for me. I'll just take these branches off and then I uh, will further split them so that we can make the frame of the kite. Make sure, I had to make sure they sturdy enough, eh? Yeah, this fella looking like he go work. So, I didn't even need to use this here. I'll just drag this fella home. There we go. So I'm stripping down the bamboo to get the pieces. So far I have two, right? These are going to be like an X, like that, upright. So I need one piece to go across, and then um, we'll deal with the compass. The compass needs two pieces, one to extend from here upwards. <laughs> I'm trying to use um, sign language to explain this thing real good to all you, right? So we're going to put that piece. Be careful with bamboo because it can have ants, bad biting ants, right? Um, and be careful also because bamboo is something that could cut you terribly. There will be an arch from this piece going across to this piece and um, connecting to the piece that was in the center. And I could describe food real good, but but I haven't a hard time with this. Anyways, you will see it all come together soon, right? Yeah, you can make bacon cheese? Yeah. I'll come and show you on my plate. You have to wait on the plate. Papayo. Nah, you need to tell everything you know. Look at our little piece of cheese is still on the plate. Now you eat out everything. <laughs> It's time to start tying up the frame with the, the thread that we bought um, down in the store. It's very sturdy. It's very strong. Probably should have shown you the package before I um, tore it apart. But this is, this is what the, the label looks like. Double Fish Brand Lines. Pull it tight. Tight with all your strength. Remember you just eat a big. Wrap it around. Right, you're going good, you're going good. Pull it tight, tight, tight. Good man. Mm-hmm. All right. You have your so frame. This is the basin. Uh-huh. And your frame uh -huh. for the kite. Right. And now I'm going to show you where, what we're going to do next. Okay. What's that? This is the bag with our things. Mm. Kite paper? Yeah. Right. We have everything we need for the kite. Right. Hi. Hi. So it's very late. I didn't expect this to take so long. Um, but we have the main part down, which is the frame. And tomorrow, guess who's going to be papering the kite? I wonder who boy. Tomorrow, somebody is going to be papering the kite. <laughs> Who we'll papering the kite tomorrow? Me. You? Yeah. yeah, because it's night time already and it's almost time to start to get ready for bed. Okay. So, I'll just leave the frame hanging here on this dartboard for tonight. I think this is the safest place to leave the frame. And tomorrow, we'll paper the frame. Mm-hmm. All right, my wonderful people. Ella's tired. Ella's burn out, burn out, burn out. It's night time. We came to <laughs> a unanimous agreement that we'd finish the kite tomorrow. I think after putting together the frame, everything else is going to fall in place real nicely. I'm suspecting that there are many parents like this out there. When you know that your child has a project, um, and it's going to require uh, a level of skill. It's going to require a high level of focus and dedication. Um, you can't eat. It's like no matter what meal is in front of you, it could be the best meal, it could be your favorite dish. 
once you know that there is something that needs to be done for your kid you wouldn't be able to eat comfortably I'm one of those parents I am one of those moms you all saw that menu I couldn't eat that I couldn't eat that yet I had to make that frame once I got that out of the way I was able to sit down and dish out my plate take my time and enjoy this meal so let me flip and show you my plate this is our bonato's choca with the burnt garlic some yellow salad for garnish the sardines that we did earlier and I had a little bit of Corelli from the other day in the fridge that I needed to use up this is the bakes oh this fella collapsed in the center there don't worry we'll fill him up with some talcari and this is our situation and yes I'm going to eat all them bakes yes I'm going to eat all that takari and yes I'm going to enjoy all that yellow salad and then there were two there were two bakes somebody just come and hops up the bag that was in that corner there the first step when you're approaching a plate like this it might look complicated if you're presented with a plate like this you may not know what to do always take the yellow salad or whatever color salad <laughs> you have at your disposal and just dab it up like that that's the first level of salad flavor <laughs> the next level is when you put the food in your mouth and you bite off a piece of this what do you think i'm doing here let me see if you can guess i'm tearing the beak tearing the beak so you have a nice size piece of beak i'm gonna go there and scoop up some of the bonatos with a little bit of karaili and oh gosh here yeah. oh, my mouth watering and some of the sardine Taking a little bit of talcari. That is, oh my gosh, this is a perfect bite. Perfect bite. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Just enjoy that food. That's some good food. I kind of want to tell Suri bring back that third bacon, oh boy. But anyway, I'll fry some more tomorrow. All right. Ready, Dallas? Ready. Okay, I know you're really excited about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sheet of white paper and cover the frame first, and then we'll add all the colors, okay? Uh-huh. Get it through. Ready? Ready. We just have to pay for this white thing. So guys, we're going to put this green sheet of paper on the green mm -hmm. and then cut it in a triangle. That's right. So, so you're doing this in a pattern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So next we'll stick blue. E -e. She's a real blue paper sticking child, eh? <laughs> gently, gently. Smooth it out, smooth it out. That's it. I think you're making a real, you're making real good progress, sweetheart. I'm proud of you. But this is excellent work, darling. Ah. I tried to make a heart there. <laughs> that's okay, it looks nice. Yep. Good. So all that's left to do is decorate with these stickers, put in the compass and the tail, and we're good to go. Papa, you well, you are a real kite making child. Real, real kite making child boy. These two should get married. They should get married? Yes. Oh my gosh. So one is a girl. Oh yeah, look at a girl puppy. And a boy puppy. <laughs> Let's see this one celebrating a birthday. 
This one's ready to sleep. This one playing music. I think they're all celebrating. They're excited. Hi. You finished the kite? Yes. And we, and we put the tail. We are very proud to let you all know that the kite has been completed with the compass and the tail and everything. Mm -hmm. And Suri, she worked real hard. So let's hope that it's functional. Let's hope that. And now we get to get in the park. And Miss said our parents have to come. So you want me to be there? Yeah. Okay. We have, you have to be there too. Yeah. I'm so glad I get to be there. All right, we did. We put the compass. Put the compass. We attached the tail. Listen, listen. I wanted it to have a little traditional element to it. So, you know, we have to we have to knot the tail. We had to join the tail with a knot. There's another um there's another knot somewhere right. You see? If it's if it's not knotted, it's not a traditional kite. So we have we tail and thing, and we have we kite and we have we string and we have we popo. You ready? Yeah. Come on, Bongsi. Hey! Ooh, yeah. Your hand hard. <laughs> yeah, Stalin, my hand hard. You real strong. You look so nice. You ready? You have your kite, you have everything? Yeah. Let's go. And I'll see you in your kindergarten jersey too. Yeah, this one I used to wear when, when I used to go to the park. Oh, turn around and see the motto. Go brave with two footprints. Yes, Miss Vidya and Auntie Sandra. We, we go in brave. Yep, we have some activity going on. Eh, eh, we have three kites up already, boy. Look at that. All right, Suri, let's go. Mm -hmm. to put up the kite? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to pull it. You gotta hold it, watch. You gotta hold it like this. Pull, pull. Let go the tread, let go the tread. Yes. Oh gosh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, and so much a kite. Well, it didn't fly so good. It didn't fly so good. We had some success. It went halfway up. And then it came back down a couple times. Um, so we decided to take a rest. We thought. We thought it was the the compass, but it wasn't the compass. We thought it was the, the tail. We thought it was the tail, but it wasn't the tail. So we just taken a five. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. So we have a, a, a kite tree. This is called the kite tree. Miss Vidya has a competition coming up. But pick a kite. Whoever could climb this tree and pick a kite wins a prize. So you see one, two, three. So you have prizes for first, second, and third. Let me see if I can show you all some of the kites up there. Zoom. There's one up there. See? A little chicky chong. And a little marble there. And we have. Oh, is that Batman flying? There's a bird. There's a bird there. Ms. Vidya says she's going to give us a, a, oh, a little kite education, but she doesn't want her face on camera. So we're just going to be hearing Ms. Vidya's voice. All right. On right. Moment, guys, number one term. Right. Number one term, you have to make sure the compass is, is adjustable. All right. 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 And number two, when the tail is making barrels, it's a little circle. Yes. It is called barreling. You have to add an extra piece of tail. Barreling. Barreling is when the, the, the kite spinning, spinning, spinning. Yeah, the tail. The tail itself. But that means you have to add on an extra piece of tail. Okay. Right. Then when you put this wheel, we usually put razor blades, half a razor blade on the on the tail so it can cut other fellas and then when it <laughs> cut this well as it is, 
Why not cut with the say Ayo when the kite flying away by itself? When it, when it fly, no, could a kite Ayo all on its own without yes, being cut? Yes, cut birds. Right. Right. And the other th term is that before you, you have to have a, like a friend, the two persons going and fly a kite. Yeah. You give a distance and the person will hold the end of the kite, not the tail end of the kite. Uh -huh. Up in the air. Uh, up in the air with fast jumpies and that is called you know, you're giving a flap and it's uh, it up on the person will pull it. They right. call that a lag. Yes, come this way, come this way. Miss Kite, let me see if it, hey, here now, Miss Kite went the highest. I don't know if I can see Miss Kite. This is a penna cool. Penny cool. <laughs> you gotta bite the edge. You gotta bite off the edge there. Right? The little, the little piece of plastic that remains in your mouth, you spit it out, but we're not doing that here. You remove it, mine's still attached. If you're skilled, you can bite it and have it attached still. And you drink or you suck your penny cool. What we're going on there with my socks? My sock was white. And then there were four. We have a fourth kite on the kite tree. One, yeah, on the kite tree. Oh yeah, let me see. That is the bird's nest right there. Right there. That there, it's it's a bird's nest. So number one, two, four. I wonder, I wonder if I could get Superman dancing up in the air, boy. Superman! It look, he looking like he tap dancing. Right, look Superman there looking like he tap dancing in the sky. Guess who I have with me? Hi. Hello. One, two, Tree and they having popsicles because let me tell all you, this heat today was terrible. They having popsicles and I having toxic water. Toxic. Toxic water. Sadie say it's toxic water because it tastes toxic. But to be quite honest with you, this is the only thing that when I drink it, it really refreshes me. Uh, how was the kite flying? The kite flying was good. A lot of people got their kites up. Um, but we ours didn't go up. It went up, you know, it went up a good distance up in the air But it, it fell back down. Okay, how was Tess? Good. Tess was good? Oh, well, they had um, English language today? Yeah, yeah four right. different papers. Okay, so let me go home. I go in home and dive in my bed. I don't know about Olya. For real. I'm tired. Me too. But I love Olya. Love you too. Mwah. Bye. Me too.